Hi and welcome to my review for A Serious Man. Um, this is the newest movie by the Coen brothers who are one of my favorite directors in the business, pair of directors in the business. Their movies are, they take an approach to movie making that is so, it, it just, it breaks all the rules. It really does. And uh, I think that's why I think they're one of the best filmmakers because they're willing to take those risks. And they do take a big risk with this film because it is not a conventional movie uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, so the basic plot of this film is it's set in 1967 in a suburb of Minneapolis. And it, it's, a, it's, like a, it's a Jewish suburb. Um, everybody who lives there, or most people who live there, are Jewish. And uh, Larry Gopnik, who is the main character of this movie played by Michael Stahlberg, uh, has two kids who go to Jewish, or go to Hebrew school. And Larry Gopnik, who is, who is played by Michael Stahlberg, is a professor at a college. And the basic story of this movie is kind of like a modern day telling of the book of Job, in that uh, it's about uh, Larry's life beginning to completely unravel and everything going downhill for him which is actually typical in most Coen Brothers movies. So this isn't that strange a territory for them because almost all their movies start off good and then some bad shit happens and then everything just starts going downhill. Um, and that's exactly what happens with this character. Um, the first thing is that his wife is leaving him for a more serious man, <laughs> as he's described in the movie, named Cy Abelman. Uh, the next thing that starts to go wrong is that Larry's uh, college uh, might not grant him tenure. Uh, Larry's two kids have a bunch of problems. His son is obsessed with marijuana and um, just, just completely disrespects him, as does his daughter, and she is stealing money from his wallet to get a nose job. So... <laughs> Uh, everything in this movie, Larry's life just keeps going downhill, and it is funny. I mean, this is the darkest kind of humor that you could have in a movie, I think. And for me, I love that kind of humor. Now, a lot of people won't like that kind of humor. I can understand that, but I love that kind of humor. It's just, it's funny to me to watch this guy's life falling apart. But there are very serious parts in this movie also, um, because he is dealing with all these crises. And parts of it, and the Coen brothers strike a very good balance, I think, between the humor and the seriousness. And throughout the whole movie, Larry's going to go see these rabbis, and he's trying to get help because he doesn't understand why God is letting all this stuff happen to him. He doesn't get the meaning of it. Why is, why is God letting his life suck, pretty much? Um, for me, this ranks up there with the Coen brothers' best movies. Uh, it's a very personal film uh, that asks a lot of big questions about life. And it's the acting is awesome, as it is in every Coen Brothers movie. Their characters are very original. The acting, uh, they, 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 it just the actors make these characters so realistic that it's just unbelievable. Uh, cinematography is very beautiful. Uh, I, I love I love the setting of the of the Jewish suburb. The script is amazing, as it is with almost every Coen Brothers movie. And in the end, we do feel sorry for Larry while while this stuff is happening, as he's trying to be a serious man. And the movie tells us a serious man is a man who does good things and is a respected man. And that's what he thinks he is. And I think the audience may think that also. The only flaw I would say in this movie is that it, it has these deep messages, but sometimes I don't think those messages are conveyed very well. I mean, you really have to look into this film to understand what the Coen brothers are trying to tell you with this movie. But I think that it's going to leave some people confused, especially the ending. Now, the Coen brothers are known for having very ambiguous endings, to say the least, such as in No Country for Old Men, Burn After Reading. 
um, the, uh, their the, their endings are very open to interpretation, and this is the exact same as those endings in those movies. Um, it just ends, and you're and the, as the viewer, well, you can think a couple of different things, but um, and, well, you can think more than a couple things about how you why you think they decided to end the movie like they did. But I liked it. Um, I I feel I understood the ending and what the Coen brothers were going for, but a lot of people won't, and a lot of people are going to be angry about that. Um, but I don't think that detracts from the film at all. I think that just is just the film is very smart. Um, but overall, I would rank this in the top tier of their films, definitely in the top five. It might even be in my top three. Uh, my top three right now are Barton Fink, Fargo, and Burn After Reading. Um, I may have to put this in ahead of Burn After Reading now. I don't know. Um, but I highly recommend this film because it is, it's a film that forces you to think instead of watching just two hours of explosions, which is okay sometimes, but sometimes you want a movie that you, that you can think about and that challenges you uh, about religion and about life. So I would give this uh, four out of four stars. Um, hope you enjoyed this review and uh, look for my others. Thank you.